Right, so I'm back at a real Fallout 4 back on Maxwell's World. See, so yeah, last time around, we thought it was a great idea to go to a haunted theme park in order to rescue her for her sister. And, you know, inevitably, we got stuck inside with a bunch of things that come pretty much straight out of my nightmares. Including this carousel ride here, which is a haunted carousel ride with eyes that drip blood as well as acid. And this one has a nose piercing for some reason. Anyways, we killed this thing, fortunately, and uh, right now we're looking for a creepy skeleton guy, which might be able to help us get out of this godforsaken fucking hellhole. And we're also trying to figure out what's going on with Maxwell, the still current owner of this deteriorating theme park, and uh, finally, we're trying to figure out whether or not I'm hallucinating. If that is the case, I'm taking some very powerful drugs. Alright, just uh, show an essay down there just to be sure. You can never be too sure in Maxwell's world. He can't hear you among the monkeys. You know, these are some very sturdy monkeys. Very sturdy monkeys. Just hold on. You know, you are also pretty sturdy. Shh, he can't hear you among the monkeys. Well, you know, I kind of fixed that. Anyways, what's uh, going on with your face? I'm nobody. Pretending to be somebody. Pretending to be named Stoat. Because my name tag got too fudged up to read otherwise. Hi, I'm Stoat. I work against here. You know, I'm looking very intensely and I don't see a name tag. So, uh... Yeah, what's up? No, never. Maxwell can claim the souls of everyone else, but I'm free. The monkeys help. He never wanted them to go into production, you know. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. What do you need? Well, you know, I kind of need you to stop bumping your microphone, but amongst that, I'd like to know, you know, what's going on here. Um, how do we get that gate open? Pick the locks or had a key. They open for me anyway. Which is good, because we're going to get you out of here. That's my job. You know, my second question is uh, if there's anything left of that brain up there. It doesn't really seem to be functioning that well. But, uh, yeah, what's your plan? Exactly. Maxwell. He's in every bullet, every hot dog, every popcorn kernel. He wants you to stay. All you have to do is to leave and you have beaten him. It's what I want. Right, yeah, I could understand that most things around here are probably cursed. Fortunately, I haven't eaten any hot dogs just yet. But yeah, how do we get out of here? The park. It's evil oversoul. It has a presence. It seeps into the food, the utilities, everything. Every prize in this park, it's just a way to sell your soul to the devil. Don't eat the food. Don't use the weapons. Else he'll claim you, and you'll end up a reveler, filled with joy and living to serve Maxwell. Don't trust the machines either. They're jerks. I you know the last one tried to kill me with acid, so I can definitely believe that. So will you help us? Of course. Saved your dumb asses once already, didn't I? Hiding out in the haunted house, right? Good choice. He hates that one too. Probably has to do with the irony. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Head of myself. Lead the way. Right, then, you know, third question is, uh, why in God's name do you use that broom? Surely, you can use one of those monkeys to beat people with. Right, well, now we definitely know that, uh, Maxwell's evil, because that is definitely a swastika. I would not shower in this place. So, you know, do you feel like eating one of those hot dogs? You kind of look a tiny bit skinny. No, not the overworld. Can't have the presence there. Take the tunnels. What? Parks always had them. Secret systems for employees and managers. Can't have security or janitors running through the crowds, Maxwell said. It'll upset the guests, Maxwell said. We have to project an air of omnipresence, Maxwell said. They're infested with revelers. No better way to get around if you got the stomach for it. No rides either, thankfully. Good! Hop in. 
Right, take the employee tunnels. Right, see, this is why you don't use a broom. Or maybe you should use a broom. That's actually a pretty powerful broom. Right, we're just gonna go run. And well, apparently shotguns don't really work against the uh, skeletons. So this is the ghoul. No, I'm the guy who prevented you from getting annihilated by a ride animating ghost. The Same ghoul. Th you know what? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So why'd you save us? Same reason I saved the last fifty people who came through. You're in trouble. What's more, you want to leave the park, and that's where I come in. I'm a professional park escaper. Are you implying that you've escaped this hell before? Well, no. In fact, I've never had anyone escape before. Most of them got eviscerated by a roller coaster or two. <laughs> but that's going to change. You came at the best time possible. The rides used to be nervous, as were the revelers. But Maxwell, he's been worn down. He's desperate. And he gives us our opening. So you do know how to escape. There's one way out, and one only. The gates are unscalable and unaccessible. But Maxwell had a private way out, a secret VIP tunnel. I knew of it because I cleaned it up once, after some child star vomited. I think. I don't remember. But it exists. Say we believe you. What's stopping you from using this tunnel? Or really, what was stopping anyone from using this tunnel? Because it's located there, the Park Tower, Maxwell's headquarters, and it's been in lockdown for over two centuries. Getting to the tunnel might be the goal, sure, but getting to the tower, that's claimed so many lives. Because Maxwell knows he's terrified of being alone. So he tried everything to keep people out. But as strong as he is, he can't stop the lockdown from being lifted. Alright, well, it sounds like a really solid plan. See, so how do we end this lockdown? You can't. Not conventionally. For years, I mostly just tried to hit it with a crowbar. But now, I know the best solution. You tried hitting it with a, a broom? glitch, a little bug in the system. And it ain't easy to exploit. The lockdown server will reset if it can't communicate with any other main server. But only if it authorized by one of the higher ranking operators. So what? We shut down a few computers and forced Maxwell to give up a keycard? Yes! Wait. No. Kind of. There's a threefold component to this. We have to shut down the main server. Yes. But it has a backup generator. We have to overload the main grid. Then, we find another operator's keycard and use that to break into the main tower. It's a threefold quest. Time Travel Mountain, Maxwell City, Raging Rivers. Each place has a key component you need to escape. Man, these are starting to sound like fucking fetch quests. I'm a Lindo. Still gotta explore this park, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty clear. Let's just, uh, do it. How do we overload the generators? Most of the park's power goes it. to Raging River. Something about pumping water takes a lot of power. An ancient, massive pumping mechanism in the depths of the sewers and pipes. Destroy that, and things go even more crazy. After that, kaboom, goes the grid. What about the main server? When they installed the Holo Theater, they moved all the server infrastructure to Time Travel Mountain. You got to get into the Holo Theater and find the main server somehow. Okay, and what about the key card? My supervisor used to have one. Last anyone ever saw of him, he was overseeing construction of the vault coaster in Maxwell City. So that's the goal. Destroy the pumps, shut down the Hollow Theater server, and get the keycard in Maxwell City. You do that, we could end the lockdown, enter the control tower, and escape. Easier said than done. I still insist someone comes along. I never travel alone. Never want the presence killing you after all. That would be a bad thing. Choose your character. What? Ignore me. I'm insane. <laughs> At least he's self-aware. So yeah, the question is, do I take the beast up Brotherhood Soldier with power armor, sunglasses, and a Gatling laser? Or the skeleton who's armed with a broom? Or do I take Jenna? 
I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go for the skeleton. You should come with me. Yes! We'll do this the right way. Let me grab my broom. Oh, I already have my broom. Never mind. Let's go. So, uh, do you get like an employee discount? Hey. Hi. What's up? Tell me about yourself. I work here. No, wrong. I worked here. Back when here was. Better. Back when Maxwell wasn't some fucked up demon man thing. Mom said I had to get a summer job. Always nagging. So here I was. And it became an autumn job. And so on. I liked my job. I guess. Then the bombs came. Everyone died. And here I am looking like a zombie fighting ghosts. That make a good movie plot. But I think movies no longer exist. Nay. Nah. You know the hot dog stand? I sold those. Or made them. It's been a while. Fuck if I remember. I do remember heat. Screaming. Burning. And blackness. After that, I figured, fuck it. Home's gone. This place has resources. Cleaned up a few bodies. Carved out a hole. And learned how to resist demons. And how have you been able to survive for so long? Loopholes. There's endless food and water, and it makes you want to stay. Simple stuff. Just the way that Mr. Maxwell wanted it. So I can't leave. Souls is bounded to the park as the concrete. But nothing stops me from wanting to help other people leave. First thing to know about the park, always find the loopholes. And learn your surroundings. That's two things. Never mind. Now, what do you know about Maxwell's world? Long ago, Mr. Maxwell had it all. Power, fame, money, a beautiful wife. I'm getting ahead of myself. Maxwell wasn't a bad guy. The opposite. Biggest entertainment mogul in America. And he used most of his money to build this park. Always went about making people happy. Don't know why he hired me. I was a complete little shit when I was a kid. But, well, whatever his goals and reasons, they're long gone. Bomb did something to the park. Changed it. Too much death in the air, and it turned what's left of Maxwell wrong. Then again, maybe not. What do you mean? Everyone knew the bombs were coming. You heard a lot of rumors working at the park. One of which, that Mr. Maxwell turned to... Other methods to save himself and the park. Voodoo, human sacrifice, even libertarianism. Awful, evil stuff. Maybe all those deaths in the world just served as its catalyst. Either way, it worked. Um. This one. How could it not be? I've had a thousand idiots tell me about rational explanation, and I've had a thousand idiots die to monstrous roller coasters eviscerated by teacups and strangled by chairlifts. This park is alive. Maybe it was science, maybe it was the devil, but either way, it's evil. You feel the same way, right? You felt it. That feeling of being watched by every building, of the way it curves on you, taunting you. This place is haunted. I mean, that money is still on drugs, but maybe. Good. Once you accept it, things get easier. Just don't pray. Maxwell hates that. Hey, well, I gotta say, he's got a very good voice actor, though. It's just that slight mic bumping that's uh, just, just a tiny issue. You should not bump into your microphone. Because it sounds terrible. Well, I guess for now we're gonna do Raging Rivers. We're gonna shoot some pumps. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't. Uh, okay. All uh, right. Let me try and get out the assault rifle here. Just, uh, just pull that. That's a bit. Never mind me. I get a reload. They don't seem particularly interested in me, though. They're just trying to beat on my broom wielding companion.
Hey, well, that wasn't so bad. I thought I was gonna get chewed on by a haunted roller coaster. This place. Watch your step. Things get weird. Bad weird. It's very good. Well, yeah, there's definitely a good type of weird. Yeah, this doesn't exactly seem like a good idea. I feel like I'm gonna get flushed down the fucking toilet. Okay, we got some, uh, some levitating fish. Very peculiar. We got some dolphins as well. There's nothing creepy about this. Floating water too. Some crabs. Okay. Uh, miniature ships. And submarines. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I don't think this is a normal pump system. I've, I've not seen this type of pump before. I mean, I've seen Kaplan pumps. And those other types of pumps, but this pump is a pretty weird pump. I don't know about you, man, but my money is still on drugs. These look like some very powerful drugs. Hey, right, well, we got floating heads, floating ships, and synapses. And pipes. And yeah, this is definitely not your typical pump. Uh... Okay. Right. Thus the journey continues. See, so this is what terminal velocity is. I will think out for the water. Yep. You're right. Yeah, you should be fine. Well, I think I found the pump. Yep. Doesn't really seem to like that. Holy shit. Okay. We're just gonna go do that. And then... We've got an evil pump trying to murder me. And I think I gotta get up there. So how do we... Okay, I think we just go up here. And we try not to get murdered by the pump. It's gonna be very difficult. And we also got flames. We got... This thing, I guess. Oh shit, is this a puzzle? I think this is one of those puzzles. Man, they found my one and only weakness. Which is... Overly simplified puzzles that... I can't solve. Right, well, we gotta open that door and somehow we gotta get up there without getting murdered by that face. Okay, well that door is open right now and then it closes again and then we trigger this one and it doesn't do anything. And my companion is still stuck in the water. Very peculiar. Alright, so I figure we gotta get up there. So that means we gotta come from that direction right there, so we gotta get on top of that, but how do we get on top of that? That is the big question right here. I don't know. I mean, it almost seems like I need to climb on top of one of these faces. I will start. I've got an idea. I just gotta borrow your broom for like two seconds. I've seen this before in this one movie. It's, it's about this little boy with a scar and uh, he gets like trapped in his adopted parents stairwell because they just they're just a terrible parents but anyways just kind of borrow your broom for like two seconds right thanks I right, will still I've got an idea as to how to get up there I just kind of borrow your broom for like uh, five seconds I've seen this before in this one movie about this little 10 year old kid with a scar it's like adoptive parents keep imprisoning him in his stairwell just terrible adoptive parents but anyways just kind of borrow your broom for like five seconds okay so we do this and then we just fly up there with the broom and uh, that's what they call problem solved, because I'm just terrible at puzzles. So, uh, 
Oh wait, I got it. We were supposed to like shoot at this thing. I right, never mind what I just said. You know, gonna give you your broom back, and uh, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. We just uh, throw an S8 up there, and that should work. I think. Right. Not the gas. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. No more blood. You sure you're all right? Hey, now we know that I'm terrible at puzzles. And reading. And listening too, probably. But, yeah, we uh, we blew up that pump. The big evil head is not shooting gamma rays at me anymore, so that's a bonus too. And, uh, should be able to get out of this place. Well, that's one down. Two more to go. So, uh, yeah, next time around, we'll try and turn off the power. As well as get that key card. And then we should be able to get out of this gap for a second. Oh. Man, that will be next time. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Or I might get chewed on by a roller coaster after all.